welcome to Florida International Super Speedway for the Twin A and D Radeon Duels to see who will be the 20 drivers in the Florida 500. In row 1 we have Phil Tankson and Bubba Wheelhouse. In row 2, Ryan Laney and Bobby Swift. In row 3, Lightning McQueen and the defending champion Cal Weathers. In row 4, Chase Racelot and JD McPillar. And in the back is Jimmy Cables and Brian Spark. Here's the race format for both races, 6 laps and 15 miles around the 2.5 miles per speedway and pit road speed is 70 miles per hour. The pace car makes a hard left turn to the pits. Here we go with Phil Tanks and Bubba Wheelhouse taking the green flag for duel 1. Bobby Swift is trying to give Bubba Wheelhouse a push while well, Phil Tankson is in first place. And oh, oh! The 95 has turned to 21 Ryan Laney. And we have the first caution of the night the 21 Ryan Laney with some damage in the back. It was the 95 Light McQueen that turned the 21. I feel like it was just some rough racing. Let's see what just happened. Yep, it was the 95 that turned to 21. Then the 24 hits the wall. The double zero. There was nowhere to go for him. Hopefully Ryan Laney's night is not done. Let's see it again. Yeah, Chase Elliott hit the wall. Luckily, it was a safety barrier instead of a concrete wall. Now, the next time we'll see another replay. We'll see this replay is in full speed. Ryan Laney has been set to the back, and we'll be right back. The lights are off the pace car, and we're about to do two laps of overtime, since we didn't go all six laps in green flag condition. So we're just going to give them two laps until the race is complete. So if the next flag of um, comes out bef after the white flag, the next flag will end the race, and if a caution comes out, we'll um, uh, give them two more shots of overtime. If they gone more than two times, the race is over under caution. The pace car is heading back to the pits, and we're about to do two laps of overtime. Here we go, green flag. Phil Tankson still taking the lead against the six of Bubba Wheelhouse, the number 19 of Bobby Swift, trying to pass the six of Bubba Wheelhouse. Phil Tankson in first place. Still trying to hold him off, so he'll be able to get his first duel win. Bobby Swift is hungry for second or first place. Lightning McQueen trying to pass Brian Spark after that mistake that he just made with Ryan Laney. Bobby Swift got loose. He's passing the six. Now here we go, white flag. Next flag ends the race. And we got a crash. Jimmy Cables gets turned by the 24 of Chase Rice lot. The race will will end under caution, but instead it's race back to the line. Because the officials just made a really terrible decision. Here comes Bobby Swift going in high speed. 
Trying to pass the number 28, Phil Tankson. Checker flag, Bobby Swift wins dual one. Well, this is unofficial. So we're gonna check all the video footage to see if Bobby Swift's uh, uh, pass Phil Tankson while the caution lights turn on. So we're gonna do some video review on it. And also we're gonna see a replay of what just happened with the 24 and the double zero. Hmm. Yep, the 24 and 0 collide with each other and start wrecking. Why would you do that? And we've just seen the pace car earlier while we were checking out the replay of Chase Racelot and uh, Jimmy Cables. Now here comes the drivers to the pits for post race inspection, and we're about to get ready for duel 2. Here are the unofficial results. The fastest car in Duel 1 is the 19 of Bobby Swift. So that's Duel 1. We'll be right back for Duel 2 in a bit. Welcome back to the AD Radeon Duels. Now we're going to Duel 2. Now we have four open drivers who are JP Drive, Steve LePage, Ed Truncan, and Conrad Camber. One of them will not make it to the Florida 500. Let's check out who's in Duel 2. In row 1, we have JP Drive and rookie Colin Bargain in a different body, which is the Ford Mustang Dark Horse. In row 2, HJ Hollins and Daniel Suarez. In row 3, Master Dragon 4000, also the same upgrade as his teammate Colin Bargain, starting with the 2024 Clash winner, Cruiser Miris. In row 4, Conrad Cambra and Ed Truncan, one of the two drivers will not compete in the Florida 500. In row 5, Jackson Storm and Steve LePage. And in the back is Brendan Powercar making his first race start tonight. The race format is about the same as the first duel, so don't worry about that. The pace car is off to the pits. And here we go with JP Drive and Colin Bargain in first and second place. The green flag is out for the AMD Radeon Duel 2. H.J. Hollins already making it three wide. Colin Bargain in first place. The rookie might have his chance on winning the other. They're three wide already behind the 019 of Daniel Suarez. H.J. Hollins passes the 019 of Daniel Suarez. There's still some three wide battle. A three wide battle. Daniel Suarez in second place, Colin Bargain and Conrad Camber were drafting earlier, now they're not, they're trying to make it three wide again, H.J. Hollins leads the first lap of the race with five laps to go, H.J. Hollins trying to be strong before he wins the Florida 500 Wednesday. Colin Bargain is about to say, let's see about that. Now the 10 is drafting with the 68. The 019 of Daniel Suarez in third place. Fourth place is Conrad Camber. Remember, he's one of those drivers that will not advance to the Florida 500 even finish lower. Now here's the free entry drivers positions. Ed Truncan is looking is not looking good. He's doing horribly. Now let's let's listen to the cars. Start right now.
go with two laps to go. H.J. Holland still in the lead against Colin Bargain. Third place, Cruz Ramirez. Fourth, Conrad Camber. Fifth, Steve LePage. Sixth, Daniel Suarez. Seventh, Jackson Storm. And eighth, the number seven of Brandon Power Car. He started all the way in 11th place just to be in eighth as I'm speaking. H.J. Holland still in the lead. His car is pretty darn strong tonight. Here we go, white flag. One more time around the world center of racing. Cruz Ramirez and Colin Bargain are battling for second place. H.J. Hollins is just looking at them like a dot. Or instead, there's just a small little specks behind them. Now exiting turns three and four. H.J. Hollins will win duel two. Second place, Colin Bargain, and there's a side by side. Finish for third place in it's Daniel Suarez, fourth Jackson Storm, and fifth Cruz Ramirez. Congratulations to H.J. Holland's winning duel two, and unfortunately, the number 33 of Ed Truncan has failed to advance to the 2024 Florida 500. Here are the official results. H.J. Hollins is the fastest car in Duel 2. It's been confirmed that Bobby Swift has swapped positions with Phil Tankson because the caution came out on the final lap. So Phil Tankson is your Duel 1 winner. Not only that, JP Drive, Steve LePage, and Conrad Camber will advance to the Florida 500 on Wednesday. So don't miss that out at 3 p.m. Pacific and 6 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe, this is the Candy Cat 127, signing out.